All right, so uh, first of all, I I will show you guys the the excellent example of what uh, a restaurant simulation map should look like, how it play out, how everything works in the restaurant maps, and after I show you guys that, I will actually um, open a room for you guys to uh, experience the creation yourself. All right, so uh, we will start with the. Um, of course, we will start with the very first restaurant maps that ever appear in Mini World Globals. Cause I'm I'm unsure if there's other maps appear in other version before that, but this was the very first one, right? So, um, all right. So in this one, this this one is actually very um, fast play. Like it has a time attack element to it like you have to be very fast so there's a timer right here and although it's a um, very fast pace it's very simple to play out um, you don't really need to uh, read anything you just get in the game and you know exactly what you should do see it's, it's actually easy to uh, figure out what you need to do here do I put it here? Wait, wait. Do I put it here? Do I put it on the dish? Um, actually, I should have read the... Uh... Oh, wait. So, I do put it on the dish. But what do I... Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I should have read the uh, instruction. But like I said, it has a time attack element to it and you don't really have a lot of time to actually read through all those uh, instructions. You just have to figure out how things work just by playing the, the game. I still don't know why I cannot pick up the... the um, we should be winning. Alright, okay, so we just got a point for that. I still don't know why these don't disappear. I mean... They should disappear after we uh, we take them, but they don't. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, two potato. I did have two potato right here. I can just put it in. Well, there's something not right because usually the dish should disappear after you um, after you take one. So uh, might be an issue which I didn't know that the issue was there before, but. Uh, yeah, this issue make the game like um, so easy now. Um, did I win? Wait, wait. Okay, now we have something new. Okay, so we just move to another level. Um, this map is actually very simple design, but has very a very cool mechanism behind it. Like you can see, the the customer is totally random, and they appear in random direction as well. And even this uh, countdown clock is designed by some triggers or strip. I actually won't be teaching you how to do this because I myself struggle with how to do this. Like, it's really kind of complicated. But uh, I will show you some advanced trigger later on about um, restaurant maps. So yeah, that is our first maps. Um, our second one. Let's try out the one that Mini Captain recommend himself. Right. So this is called the Donut Shop Simulator. This one is actually really new. I think it's from the Mini World Got Talent event this year. Right. So I'm not sure what these mean, like Biru and Mera. But uh, if uh, you pick the red team, I oh. Okay, so there, there's just just two team in this one. Um, I believe this is a cooking race. So um, which team make the food faster will get the score first. And uh, when you reach a certain milestone of score, I guess you will win. Okay, so this one is really simple but very well built. So you just take a donut from uh, where did you uh, where do you oh here. So you got a donut and then you just um, you fry it, right? Click to fry a donut. Yes, so you fry it. Alright, so uh, this is what we will be going through. 
I, I will be showing you how to do things exactly like this. Well, not exactly like this, but I will show you how to do it yourself and then you can uh, just create your own recipe based on this. Alright, so now you choose the flavor. Let's say we choose this one and we can add some like sprinkle and um, chocolate milk. Uh, sprinkle? Wait, no. Okay, so here we go. But um, what does our customer want? Um, strawberry and messes? Did I... Is it this one? Oh no, this is a uh, valid and milk. Okay, so, so I would try to do one. Just show you guys how the mission and score work. Uh, this this takes like 5 seconds. Which is uh, reasonable. What is this? Um, anyway, strawberry and... Uh, strawberry and uh, something this is strawberry and uh, oh wait wait oh so I just got the mission right so now I, we got one point um, and uh, I believe in this map if you want uh, like new customer you will just have to place them yourself which is not very convenient like it's not very ideal to place the customer yourself uh, like this but um, like in this uh, tutorial, I will show you how to like make customer appear like randomly and naturally. Like they will keep coming through times, and you don't have to place the customer yourself, which is very not real. Like yeah, so uh, this is the I think this is the only drawback of this map, and also is kind of small. You don't have a lot of moving space, so uh, maximum I think we can only do uh, three person per team, which make this map um, kind of a small maps. All right, so that is the second maps. Uh, for the third one, let's actually try now uh, uh, the Chinese lecture cooking maps, which I cannot understand the recipe, but I will try my best to uh, show you guys how this play out yes I totally cannot understand this even if I try to I cannot copy it or pass it on Google so yeah but uh, basically this is the map he built for this mini learning camp so it, it should have the same rules as uh, the Vietnamese lecture and as same as uh, my map so uh, Right, so we are on the chef team right now and so we can go into the kitchen, we can cook things and then we can serve our uh, customer who sit here uh, and uh, customer under here as well. This is actually very nice. Uh, this is like those, um, you know, some, I think this, this is like the coffee environment. I don't know if it's true, but um, this this look of like a very chill place to just have uh, some quick coffee break with your friends. It has this uh, <laughs> very privacy corner right here, and it's also under the the first floor. A very unique design for a restaurant. Um, I believe that if you are a chef, you cannot go out of your restaurant and if you are a customer, you can actually go outside here and just have some fun, Be just go around when waiting for your food to uh, be cooked. So yeah, let's try and make some food. I'm not sure what I should do first, but uh, should we take a bowl first? Okay, so we have a bowl. Uh, this is... This is definitely water, right? Uh, so let's see if we want lemonade. Okay. So now what do we cook? Uh, I'm not sure if uh, any of these is what I think they are. Like it is. Okay, so we can take this. Some kind of soup. Uh, we can add in onion, right? No. Okay, so what can we do with this soup? Okay, so can we put it in here? Okay, we got something. We got a spoon of... Uh, <laughs> I'm unsure how this play out, but I'm pretty sure there is a recipe behind this. Uh, we can place things on it. 
Okay, so we cannot place thing on here. Uh, okay, what just happened? Okay, the bowls just empty out like that. Okay, so maybe I'm not playing it right, but maybe that there's still some issue with the triggers in this one. But as you can see, the kitchen looks very nice. He have all the effects going on. Very nice. Oh, we can do this. Okay, so how do we turn on this? Uh, um, we cannot, which is weird. Okay. Oh, so that is how we do it. I mean, the animation, the, the cooking animation, the triggers is very nice. I cannot do better, honestly. Okay, so what do we do next? Do we just wait or do we turn it off? I don't think we can turn it off. <laughs> or like I said, if I can, um, is this a, I, I still don't know what these are. So let me just quickly see it out. Okay, this is the brightness of the game. This is the shop. Um, this is also a book. Interesting. All right, so that is the third restaurant map we are going to check out. Uh, no, <laughs> we're not going to uh, surviving, like do any survival today, because it's mini learning camp today. Might do it some time else when I do like some free stream about mini world. Maybe I do have some plan for it, but not now. So next, let's go um, into the Vietnamese lecture cooking maps which I did try it out before and I did understand how things work alright so uh, just pick your team um, this map is the most like obvious one because it, it's had all this um, instruction you know exactly what to do because there there are instruction everywhere there's even the recipe up here like you you will know exactly what you should do in order to uh, make your own food in this map so yeah it's, it's a very nice map with excellent instruction um, I believe that we can go outside uh, can we so if we click oh yeah we can go outside okay so uh, this is the the living room, the area where all the customer will be in. So I, I believe only the chef can enter the can enter the kitchen. Alright, so very nice. Can we actually go outside in this one? Okay, so we cannot actually go outside. But um, the space of this restaurant is actually bigger than the previous one that we just checked out. So yeah, it's it's actually very nice inside. Let's just go back in and just quickly try out how we make stuff. So let's try out this recipe here. We just need um we need a let's take a ice cream cone. Uh, okay, so we got ice cream. Uh, this coffee, right? Uh, let's try. It. Oh, it's coffee. Okay, so this animation is really cool. I mean, I can show you guys how to do this. It's just that. I don't usually do this animation because I'm just a bit lazy but it's very cool and you definitely should apply it in your own restaurant maps okay, okay so we did make some uh, like dessert this is the main uh, dish here hamburger or sandwich so we will try making uh, those two and I believe you put it here to serve the customer all right, it's very straightforward. Oh wait, all right. So if I go to the front, you always uh, you also see that um, he also put the price tag on each food. Like um, yeah, there's some price tag here, which is very nice. I never thought of like doing this. This is very creative. Okay, so you can take it from uh, this side. I believe if you have enough money, you can buy the food, okay? Okay, so that is pretty much all the uh, example for good restaurant maps. So overall, 
a restaurant simulation map should give you the feeling of like actually being in a restaurant. It should allow you to do things like a real restaurant does, like waiting for your food, ordering food, and just uh, cook things in general. So you can actually uh, focus on one or two types of dish in your cooking maps, like this one focus on pasta, this one focus on sandwich and uh, hamburger, this one is only donut focus. Uh, this one is um, just simple this with uh, some simple ingredient but very cool function. Or you can go and just create a map with um, a lot of recipe. Well, it doesn't matter but it's, it, it does make some difference. So um, this is the last one. It's actually my mask for this tutorial. And I actually put in a lot of recipes in uh, this one, which I don't actually just focus on a single type of this. I actually have a, a total of eight recipes, and uh, the difference in my map is that you don't take like ingredient by uh, clicking on the the blocks. Uh, I actually give out a. Um, an NPC that actually gives you the ingredients so you can get like most of the ingredient you need right here and some ingredient will be need to um, cook or cut or boil or like do something <laughs> I already like put out the instruction on each of the blocks that you can actually uh, um, actually touch actually use in the maps all right so um, also this NPC is just for any question that you uh, need to ask all right so we can also go outside actually already play this map with you guys in the last stream but uh, like it was a totally just a random stream so I don't think a lot of people have played the map yet but so here's the living room I believe that I <laughs> I made a very big living room because I uh, I think that uh, like a restaurant should have a very big living room for a lot of customer but um, it doesn't necessary to be like a very big living room like this but uh, hey it's, it's, it's look nice yeah the, the reason why I don't put the roof is because um, it get really dark when you put on the roof and also the view of the sky is actually very nice so this is actually an outdoor an outdoor restaurant okay so um, a bit different from all the like cooking simulation maps uh, I actually sell um, customer and chef skin character skin instead of food so yeah I mean I focus on what I'm good at <laughs> and that is viewing NPC mobs so yeah Definitely my uh, my cooking map is not the best, definitely not the best, but I hope you guys can enjoy it. It's based on um, a cooking anime, with it, which is uh, Food Wars and the main character is Yu Soma Yukihira. Okay, so let's just quickly uh, cook something. Um, I'm not sure what, okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's for example, let's take this uh, seaweed, let's take uh, some... Um, Let's take an empty bowl. Uh, yes, please. Uh, I believe uh, that's all we need. Uh, I, let's take some rice right here. You can take a rice with empty bowl here. All right. So we have uh, we have rice. We have seaweed. Uh, we also need some. Uh, okay. So we have. Uh, is this sugar? Okay. So this is sugar. I think we have all the ingredients so if you want to cook something in my maps you just need to click on this crafting table uh, okay so what else do we okay so we need soy sauce okay so that is in here all right so now we got all the ingredients we need let's make an origini all right it's that simple I mean it's, it's not hard um, if you see a food name in blue like this one it has a blue item names see then it is eatable like you can give this to the customer to eat if it's not blue like um, like this one it doesn't have a blue name tag it is not eatable 
it's only an ingredient and you need to um, use it on something else all right so yeah okay so this is the restaurant so let's, let's say you just start your own maps you you have nothing yet and be, before you begin building you have to set up all the rules of the maps and so how do you set up the rules of a uh, restaurant simulation maps all right so i will go step by step so you guys can catch up but um it won't be a very long like tutorial for this one since you guys already know how to set up a uh, basic maps rules like in the parkour tutorial so let's just go through all of this so first for the world setting uh for simulation maps um i was told to turn off the time like you can have a day time and then the time will go on and there will be night time as well so for a simulation maps uh, you should turn off the fixed timer you should start from like 7 a.m i mean ideally you should do that for weather you you should turn on a sunny and rainy so like sometimes it will be a rainy day sometimes it will be a sunny day and like uh, player will have like different feelings when they uh, order food on a rainy day and a sunny day right so um, just keep it as sunny and rainy uh, generate monster definitely turn that off gravity normal I mean you don't need gravity setting for a restaurant map falling damage um, off I mean you don't want the player to die or get hurt in the simulation map so turn this off uh, machinery not needed uh, the map rules uh, this is where you take pictures of your map so uh, um, these are already pictures that I took and the instruction that I give but uh, if you want to took your own pictures you can always turn this on and you click on it you click uh, display picture on introduction introduction on and you just uh, you just click on this and take your own pictures from your own restaurant maps uh, the maximum uh, like pictures you can add in is four so just keep that in mind you need to uh, show the players all your maps in just four pictures okay uh, host open just keep it like that join game open counting you can set this to three or one depends on how long you want the player to wait before the game start uh, minimum player one okay that's good enough game target uh, this is a simulation map, so sh it should be no time limit, okay? Uh, you can turn on time limit and could set it to any amount of time you want, but ideally, you should turn it off. Score settings still the same as time limit. It is simulation map, you don't need any score. Uh, go, there's no go. It's just a purely simulation map. So it will keep go on just, at, just like a, a real restaurant you just open your restaurant and people join to order food and then they leave all right so uh, turn this off reset existing game just turn this on uh, you want your game to be reset after it closed down just like a real restaurant okay turn base off reset score no polluted area no all right team setting um, especially for uh, this tutorial the rules is that we have two teams the chef team and customer team so you need to uh, uh, You need to click this off and you need to click these two team on You can also click on edit to uh, edit the team uh, uh, like um, the team uh, permission team attribute items and uh, appearance uh, in here you can set the initial item for each team like they they will receive different items when they enter the game like the chef they only receive these uh, developer icons but uh, the customer actually receive the developer icons and some uh, starting money so that they can buy the food so you should set the initial item in the team setting right here all right so uh, that is the team setting we have two team oh yeah and make sure you set the number of players in each team correctly so you you should do like more customer than chef because one chef can serve like two to three customers so you need to uh, uh, decide the amount of chef and customer you have in your maps the maximum is 40 so you have a total of 40 okay right uh, move on to player setting we have uh, the um, placement um, permission 
uh, this is okay just leave it on the the things you want to turn off is the destruction permission you don't want players to uh, just go ahead and break your restaurant just go ahead and destroy everything you build so turn this off double jump turn this off uh, assortable mean that you can attack all the players or not uh, yes you want to turn it off because you don't want player to start fighting in the restaurant you want the restaurant to be a safe peaceful chill place to just in enjoy the meal so yeah turn this off can be injured also turn this off because sometimes you get injured from uh, different reason so just make sure you turn this off so player will not be injured by anything can be defeated is mean the player can die or not so also turn this off because it's a simulation game you don't want player to just die you don't want that so turn this off uh, can pick up in time items keep this on summon up and skill up right uh, assault mode attack resistance uh, I mean you already turned the, the, this uh, uh, option off so uh, this one you actually don't don't have to worry about it okay respawn setting because the player doesn't die or injure you don't need to set anything in this tab this one setting okay um number of life no don't need it as well uh display setting um different team visible i mean sure you want everyone to see each other names tag so you should leave this at visible name display visible to all cross cross hair which mean the crossbar on the screen you you can turn this off but uh because the player in mini world are used to the crossbar so that they can aim things better when clicking so normally you sh you should just leave this on okay score and time you should turn this off because a uh, simulation map doesn't have any score or time right any more battle tips turn this off this is only for pvp maps uh, this is when uh, you kill someone and it, it, it appears on the chat like somebody just kill someone and then double kill, triple kill, godlike, things like that, okay? Um, we have version setting, oh no, views, it's a version setting, okay? This, this is the view of the player when they join your map. So you want to set it as the phone or you can set it at back camera, depend on what you want the player to view your maps from a different perspective um, camera locking, locking should definitely turn this off because sometimes they want to use the uh, back camera sometimes they want to use the forward so give them a choice to choose between which view they want to use alright the last one the player attribute one um, we have initial attribute you don't need to set anything of this to be honest you don't need to initial item you already set initial time items for the team so you also don't need to pay attention to this uh, initial appearance if you want to you can turn this on and just pick a model for the players to turn into but uh, basically for restaurant you don't need that experiment mode yes you do need this for the game rules that we are applying so when the customer eat a food from the restaurant they will level up they will gain some uh, xp and they level up so you want to start it turn this on uh, you want to set the max level uh, here we only have five level maximum but you can set it as many as you want and then you can click on this experience grow you can edit the amount of xp you need for each level you can make it like the same for every level or you can make it higher for every life level like this so level 1 100 exp level 2 300 600 a thousand two thousand uh you can also use the quick setting to uh do that for you it will do all the calculation you just need to uh fill in the number you want to uh make the range of exp from every level standard early state and later state it uh it say literally here what the the state does but um you can always choose what you find is suitable for your own restaurant okay right so that is all for the setting you need for the restaurant simulation all right so after that you can just uh, turn this off and start building your own restaurant